Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my update for Pain and Every Palette. This is a project that I originally started from watching lots of folks, but mostly Paula, do this, uh, this type of video. And based on Paula's videos and the type of project that she did, the creator of this project was Lady Pants a lot. And of course my inspiration is Paula, but I know there are lots of other folks who have created panning eyeshadows type content. So I like to break up the palettes that I work on in this project into three different categories. The first is I work on five palettes where the palette is randomly chosen, but I pick the shade. Then I have three palettes where the palette is randomly chosen and the shade is also randomly chosen for me. And then this year I brought in a project level up palette and I'm currently on level two. And that project was originally created by Sophie Alexandra. And I will leave Lady Pans a Lot's Instagram information as well as Sophie's uh, YouTube channel information down below. All right, this is going to be a pretty massive update and this may be a longer video than normal because I have so many palettes rolling out. I'm actually filming this 10 days early I'm probably not going to post it early, but I'm filming it 10 days early because I literally have like a, just a couple of palettes I'm working on. We've got a lot of things rolling out. So let me share with you the palettes that I was working on in each category. Okay, first let's talk about the five palettes that I was working on where I picked the shade. Again, randomly chosen. All of these are randomly chosen. The first one I have is the Charlotte Tilbury Easy Smoky Eye Palette. Next I have the ColourPop Fame Palette. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Collection Mini Pro Pigment Palette Volume 1. The Beauty Bay Midnight Palette. This was rolled in last month. And also the, this was rolled in last month as well, the Glam Light Ice Cream Dream Palette. Now for the palettes where the shade is randomly chosen for me. The BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival Palette. The Bare Minerals Bare Sensuals palette and the Lorac Refined Romance palette. And then lastly, for my Project Level Up palette, I have the Lorac Unzipped Desert Sunset palette. Okay, now let me share with you the palettes that I have pan in. From the first category where I pick the shade, I have three that have pan. The first one is the Charlotte Tilbury Easy Smoky Eye Palette. This one's been in here the longest and I was working on this shade here and you can see my pan. I am so excited. This was a, I would say this is a bit more of a shallow shadow and that was my original, I just covered up my pan. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that was kind of my original thought that it may be a little bit more shallow because it's a longer shadow, but there was the shade. I did use this on my lid. It was, it's a nice color. This is a nice palette as well. So happy this one is rolling out though. Next from ColourPop, I have the Fame palette and I was working on the shade Lifestyle, which is this one up here. And that pan is pretty noticeable. I really loved using this one in the very outer corner of my like a uh, lid, no, crease to, you know, deepen, kind of smoke out my looks, my eye looks. So there's that shade there. It's a lovely shadow. So I'm happy that one's rolling out as well. And this one I just hit pan in today by Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Norvina Mini Pro Pigment Volume 1. And I was working on this shade. So I am wearing this today. I think this shade is gorgeous. It's a very powdery formula, so which I find to be pretty common with ABH shadows, at least the shadows in their palettes. But I thoroughly enjoyed this palette. I need to clean up some of these eyeshadows because they literally have that that purple shade all in them, but I'll, I'll do that. I'll take care of it. Okay, the next palette is the Bare Minerals Bare Sensuals palette, and I was working on the shade Shazam, which is right there. You can see my pan. This is more of a satin formula, and I actually liked to use this kind of as a base before I put on an eyeshadow primer, or a glitter primer, and then I, it would kind of 
blank out my the canvas of my lids. So that's how I used it. It's not my favorite shadow, but I really do love this color story. So this one's not going anywhere either. And then lastly, we have the Lorac Refined Romance palette. And this one, I was working on this dark brown matte. It's not as dark as the one from the ColourPop Fame palette. It's kind of like the next level, but there we go. There's the shade so you can see it compared to Fame. So there's that shade. So these, all three are rolling out. And the last palette I can roll out is actually my Level Up palette. So I have the Lorac Unzipped Desert Sunset. And I was actually, I had hit the two pans. I needed two on this because this is my level two. And I still had to work on the, of getting two uses on each of the shadows, which I did finally hit that goal. So let me show you what this pan, palette looks like on my two pans. So there's the palette. It's a little bit dirty, that's okay. So you can see I have these two pans here in the shades Cirrus and Dunes. I was thinking I would probably focus a little bit on meditation and maybe this shade here, but I just, it didn't end up happening. I used this one in my inner corner and I used this shade here, uh, Dunes, as my first crease shade. So I ended up hitting pan on both of them. This is a really nice palette. I enjoy it. I actually ended up using this a couple of times as a matte, but I think it's intended to be a satin. Yeah, it's definitely more of a satin. Anyway, let me swatch the two that I hit pan in. So there are the two shades. That I use that one in my inner corner. It's kind of hard to see, and that one is the crease shade. I don't think I can amp this one up a little bit. Anyway, so this one's rolling out. So we have a lot of new palettes that are going to be rolled in this month, which I'm super excited about. And that's the reason why I wanted to film this a bit early is to go ahead and get those palettes picked so that I kind of know what I want to work on. So yeah. All right, let me share with you the two that I still have in the project that do not have pan. They are the two that I rolled in last month. So the first one is by Beauty Bay. It's this Midnight palette. There's 42 eyeshadows in here. And one of them was cracked or broken whenever I, whenever I got this in the mail and I still have not repressed it. But the shade I'm working on is Shield, which is this one here. And let me go ahead and swatch this. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous! <gasps> I love this shadow. I've used it a couple of times, like maybe two or three times, and I love it. So that one is still here. And then from the Glam Light Ice Cream Dream Palette, I'm working on the shade Strawberry. No, not even close. Rainbow Sherbet, which is this one right here. I think I've used this one once, so haven't really gotten much use on it. I really was focused on using some of those other shadows to really roll them out, but those are the two shades I currently have in the project. Look at how fun. All right, so now is the time where we get to pick our palettes, or my palettes. <laughs> I have all my palettes stored for this project in Wheel of Names. This was last updated March 5th, so it does not include any palettes that came into my collection. Well, actually what, you know what, I can add them, so hold on a second. All right, so we're going to start with picking the three palettes that are going into the random palette, but where I pick the shade first. Tarte, Tartlet Juicy. Oh my God, Tarte Shadows take forever. Uh, next we have The Huda Beauty Pastels Lilac Palette, okay. And then number three. Okay, Urban Decay, Urban Decani. <laughs> no. Urban Decay Gwen Stefani Palette. Ooh, that's awesome. Okay, those are the three where I pick the shade. Now let's do the two, no, the three where the shade is randomly chosen for me. All right, the first one is the BH Cosmetics Nightshade Palette. Okay. Number two, 
ColourPop Melt for You. I want to say that's a Quint. And then number three. <laughs> the Ace Beauté Slice of Paradise palette. I'm laughing because today I filmed my Pout Love video and that palette was selected for that for this month as well. So it'll be in those two projects. Okay, that's fine. All right, that's a very bright palette. <laughs> All right, so we have those three. Now the last palette is going to be my Project Level Up palette, and it's going to be for level three. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Milani Soft and Sultry. That's a very, it's a beautiful palette, but it is a very neutral palette. Okay, so let me grab these and I will be right back. Okay, I am back and there are seven palettes here. So like I said, it's gonna take me a little bit of time to, to do this. So the actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to first share the three that are where the shade is randomly chosen for me because I think that will help me determine what shades I would pick from the first three where I choose a shade. So let's do that first. Let me show you the first palette. We have the BH Cosmetics Nightshade Palette. You guys, this palette is gorgeous. It is gore just it's so pretty. Now I may throw a fit if I get number one because boring and maybe even number like this one here. I, I want I want something else. We'll see what we get. So there are nine shades in this palette. Let me grab my phone and I'm going to pull up pretty random app. Okay, so I have one to nine and we're going to see what we get. Number two, number two is a matte, and it is this shade here that is shady. Yay, yay. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful like lilac-y lilac purple. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't have hated if I got one of the shimmers either, but this matte, I, I mean, it's, it's perfectly fine. Yay, okay. Of course, that one's gonna take me longer to hit pan in. Next palette is the ColourPop Melt For You palette. This is a Quint. And it wasn't the one that I was thinking it was, but here is this color story. Five shades. Let's see, I think three are matte. Is this one considered a matte? Yeah, I would say three are mattes, but one is packed with glitter, which is this one here. So these, this shade, whoops, this shade, and then the last two shades are mattes, and the other two are shimmers. All right, so we have five shades here. All right, so we're going to randomize this. We got number three, and number three is a shimmer. It is this one right here. I had it flipped upside down. It's this one in the middle. This is the shade Dipped. So it's kind of hard to see. There's the shade there. I'm going to try to put it over a wet base to see if it pops more. There we go. I think you can see it a little bit more. That's really pretty. It seems to be somewhat of a duochrome shade. It's really pretty. And I do feel like it's a little powdery, so that may not be as difficult to hit pan in. And the last palette I have in this category is the Ace Beauté Slice of Paradise palette you guys whoa that is a bright colorful palette so what we have what 12 shades in here yeah 12 shades so here we go 1 to 12 we're gonna see what number we get number four so number four is this one here of course it's the least bright in the palette the shade flamingo and here is the shade there. Okay, so we have a very springy, summery palette going on here, which is good. Okay, so now for the palettes where I choose the shade. All right, the first palette where I'm choosing the shade from is the Tarte Tartlet Juicy palette. This is beautiful. So here is this color story. A lot of neutral shades in here. 
Okay, so the shade that I'm gonna go for is this one down here, which is rose. I think it's rose. Rose, it's rose, it's not rose. So this one here, I'm not working on anything like this right now, and I think it'll be a good complement to what I'm already working on in this project. So there is rose. Hmm. Okay, the next palette that we have is by Huda Beauty. It's the Pastels Lilac palette. I don't think this one got the best reviews. I wanna say I got this off BoxyCharm, but here is this palette. So let's see. Changed my mind a couple of times on this. I'm actually gonna go with this shade here, which is this light lilac shimmer. This seems to be a bit malleable, for lack of a better, ter better term. Like you can see, I just kind of moved that shade around just by swatching it. All right, there is that shade. Oh, it's really pretty. It's a, it's a weird formula. It kind It's kind of like, it's almost like a super shock shadow. That's kind of what it feels like in there. But yeah, we've got, I've got to get, uh, I don't have any light purple shimmers that I'm working on right now. I have some mid-tone shimmers, but I need a lighter shade for the inner part of my lid. So there's that shade. Now for the last palette, where we are picking shades. This is from the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. And this one is pretty neutral, except for this dark purple, I'm sorry, dark blue, like navy blue shade. But the rest of this is pretty neutral. Let's see. Okay, for this one, I'm going to be a little bit basic and I'm gonna go with the shade Pop, which is this one here. Normally I, I would pick the dark, navy blue but I feel like that's better that's a better choice for the fall for me All right and there is the shade pop so here's my current color story wow so different than the last one it's crazy next up is my level up palette this is the Milani soft and sultry palette it's very reflective and here is what this one looks like. So a very like cool leaning neutral palette. I will swatch this on this arm so you can see what it looks like and what I think I'll end up hitting pan in. Okay, here is the Milani palette and I think I'm probably gonna be working on some of these darker shades so there are three shimmers in this palette, right? No, four. So one is up here, and then it's this one, this one, and this one. I don't know if I'm going to work on any of those, to be honest. I think this palette's gonna take me a little bit longer to hit pan in than the other ones to get the three, because I have to hit three pans and then use each shade three times. So I'm thinking like these two deep dark mattes here at the bottom, I'm probably, this is a bl true black. I don't know if I'll hit pan in the black, but I'm gonna be focusing on these dark browns and probably one of these crease shades here and maybe the, the cream shade. I have a couple, I, I there's a, I've been using a couple of different shadows for like blanking out my eye before I go in with eye like crease shades and stuff. And we'll see, I may end up pulling this in for that purpose. But yeah, that's that's kind of, those were kind of my initial thoughts, but we'll see once I actually start to use the palette. All right, that's a long update. So again, here is my current color story. I am so happy. This is totally up my alley right now. I'm loving it. So anyway, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. This is the palette that... What? This is not a palette. And that project was originally... Okay, let me share with you the pan pa the palettes. The palettes that I have pan in. I'm so excited. And now the last palette is going to be going to be mm -hmm. hi hi. Say hello. Say hello to everybody. 
Hi. Look at how handsome he is. Hey. Hi. Oh. Okay, now we're going to talk, no, not talk about, I'm going to show it to you. Okay, bye.